quarantine to always being on the scene. Selah Productions Incorporated has birthed Selah Spot, and it is hot, hot, hot. Flaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire, as Minister Javon Ophelia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension, the place where God lives, pulling down the Kavad, God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Selah Spot, the virtual view. God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercies renew every morning. Join us for fire, straight down from heaven, as we go to war through prayer with Selah Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Giovanni Filia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Selah Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to line at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Selah Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good. Harder not your heart and allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying, heal the land, and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing the swing. Fresh wind blowing the swing. Fresh wind blowing the swing. Holy Ghost fire. God be bless you, oh God. In the month of October, we thank you, God, for the month of victory. Oh God, as we press, oh God, toward the end of the year, oh God, we say thank you, oh God, for grace to finish the race. We thank you, God, that you will allow us, oh God, to finish strong in the month of 10. 10, oh God, meaning the number of victory. Oh God, we are grateful, oh God, for the victorious women, oh God, that will take place on this month. We thank you, God, for victory in our finances. We thank you, God, for victory in our health. We thank you, God, for victory, oh God, concerning our families. We thank you, God, for victorious women in the month of 10. God, we praise you on this night. We praise you on this day. We praise you on this evening. Whatever time, oh God, the person that's listening under the sound of my voice, oh God, we praise you, oh God. Oh God, we praise you. Great grace. Great grace. I hear it in my spirit. For everyone, oh God, that's listening under the sound of my voice, oh God, great grace, oh God, to the individual that is listening to me. Oh God, we thank you, God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, oh God, in this month. We thank you, God, for the number 10. We thank you, God, that you are the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, even the listening nations, oh, God, that's listening under the sound of my voice. Oh, God, great grace, oh, God. Great grace, oh, God, to Africa. Great grace, oh, God, to the Netherlands. Great grace, oh, God, to Canada. Great grace, oh, God, to everyone, oh, God, under the sound of my voice. I hear it in my spirit. Great grace to Saudi Arabia. Great grace, oh, God, to South Africa. Great grace, oh, God, to Indonesia and India. Oh God, we thank you, God. Great grace to Argentina, oh God. Great grace, oh God, to the nations of the world. So God, we praise you, God. For you are our Jehovah Jireh, oh God, in the month of 10. Oh God, we thank you, God, that there is no one, oh God, like you. We thank you, God, that you are taking care of it, oh God, concerning us. Oh God, we praise you, God. Oh God, may you bless this nation, oh God, like never before. Oh God, may you bless President Biden, oh God, in his administration. May you bless, oh God, the world leaders, oh God, in the month of 10. Oh God, as we approach, oh God, the month of 11, oh God, the changing and the switching of the Lord. We thank you, God, for the grace, oh God, that's in the 10th month. We thank you, God, that we have one, oh God, 
concerning our enemies. We thank you, God, for the Ruach of God. We thank you, God, for your breath of life, oh God, that's blowing upon even our dead situations. We thank you, God, for the ignitement of fire, oh God, in the tenth month concerning us. We thank you, God, for the spirit of awakening, my God. We thank you, God, that you are awakening visionaries. We thank you, God, that you are awakening business owners. We thank you, God, that you are awakening, oh God, calling in people. We thank you, God, for the tenth month, for the tenth month, oh God, the winning season. Oh God, we thank you, God, the winning way. I hear it in my spirit. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Oh God, we thank you, God, for the winning way. We thank you, God, that with Jesus, oh God, we have already won. We thank you, God, for the blood of Jesus. We thank you, God, that in this month, oh God, the enemy, the devil cannot touch us. We thank you, God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the month of 10. Oh God, we thank you, God, that we wave our white victory flag. We thank you, God, that we wave our white victory flag. Oh God, we thank you, God, that we have won the battle, oh God. We thank you, God, that we have even won the battle with our help. We thank you, God, that we have won the battle on our jobs. We thank you, God, even for the people that's from Louisiana. We thank you, God, for great recovery, oh God, for we shall, oh God, in the tenth month, recover all. Oh God, we praise you on this day, oh God. We praise you on this afternoon. We praise you at this night, oh God. Whenever, oh God, whenever, oh God, the person that's listening under the sound of my voice, we thank you, God. I see it in the spirit. D-I-X, ten in French, deeds. Oh God, we thank you, God, for deeds. We thank you, God, for the number ten. We thank you, God, for victory, oh God. Even the people in Paris, oh God. We thank you, God, for the tenth month, Deeks. Oh, God, we thank you, God, that you are working it out concerning us, oh, God, in the tenth month. For eyes have not seen, nor ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of man. The things that the Lord has for those who love him. Oh, God, we thank you for the winning month. We thank you for our winning season. We thank you, God, that the enemy is defeated in the tenth month. In Deeks, oh, God, you are doing it in Deeks. Oh, God, I lift this prayer up to you, oh, God. Everything's attached to me. 
Hello, hello, hello. I'm telling you, we are pushing this thing on tonight. God's blessings to everyone that's on. I promise you, I wanted to make sure that I came on live tonight. This is not a recording. God's blessings to everyone that's watching on tonight. Let me know where you're watching from. Say, Minister Javon, I can see you. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm telling you, it is our winning season. Am I right about it? I'm just kind of messing with some things. You guys know when I come on, I'm unconventional. Amen. I just come to talk to you guys on tonight. This is our winning season. Am I right about it? I'm telling you, I apologize for being late. I tell you guys, even if I'm running late, I'm coming. Amen. <laughs> So I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I am happy to be here on tonight. I promise you, God is doing some tremendous things in the earth realm. I say that all of the time. Come on in, come on in. I want you guys to come on in. I know that some of you all were looking for me at seven o'clock. It is seven o'clock in the 10th month. Amen. I promise you, but it is our winning season. I will not stay long on tonight. We have a lot of engines running, a lot of things going on, but I definitely want to give the system time. I see it's blurring. Is it blurring on your end? Oh, that anointing is heavy. Am I right about it? I tell you, the Lord has been on me all day long about what I was going to say. I promise you, you know, this season is a very interesting season, I think, for all of us especially those that are still experiencing the recovery process in Louisiana. And I tell you, we are all going through a winning season, the 10th month, 10, the number of victory. Am I right about it? That's why when I presented it on Facebook, I wanted you all to know it's the number of victory. You're in your winning season. Am I right about it? You should be excited about that. If you are watching Minister Javon on CLA Productions page or on my personal page, Please invite a friend. I want you guys to share this thread on tonight. I promise you, God is doing some wonderful things. He is doing some wonderful things. And he is in the blessing business. Am I right about it? I thank God for his anointing. I thank him for his grace. I'm not sure what I can hear right here, but you can go ahead and put on my favorite. Hey, look at that. Hey, Tasha. Dr. Dickerson, thank you so much for coming on. Good to see you. I'm telling you, she's inviting Mika. That's Tawana's cousin. I'm telling you, I haven't seen Mika in ages, but I'm glad that Mika can see me. I hope that both of you all are doing well out there in Texas. Tasha Lee, I promise you, love you so much, so much. I'm telling you, I almost called you for a coaching session today, man. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me. I'm telling you, I remember when Tasha and her mama used to laugh at me. Oh, my God. I switched so many jobs. I couldn't even remember. But Tasha always been a boss lady. That's what it was. That's what it was. I'm telling you, I love you more, woman of God. I'm telling you, Tasha was with me in my college years, and she's still with me. She's so special. I'll never forget when I lost my mother. I saw Tasha in the audience as out of it as I was. 
I saw her in the audience and I'm telling you, that was a tremendous blessing to me for her to come all the way from Texas. I didn't get an opportunity to spend time with her. So much was going on, but just to see her there, I remember seeing her. So I love you, love you, love you. God's blessings and love and light to you and your family out in Houston, Texas. Amen. I'm telling you, I won't stay long tonight. The Lord wants me to stay real short and he wants me to be real careful. I'm being good on tonight. Amen. I'm coming to just minister to your spirits, minister to your souls. I'm telling you, Dr. Dickerson, this has been a tremendous day, a tremendous day. But God is still good. I still sat in my seat. Didn't matter what was going on. I still sat in the seat that God has ordained me to sit in. You know, as I think about what we're getting ready to talk about, you know, this scripture, it blessed me so much when I was reading it. And we are getting ready to talk about it on tonight because God is faithful and he wants us to know that he is a faithful God. Am I right about it? And so I'm telling you, we're going to talk about it. I, I named this Selah Spot. For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Minister Javon Ophelia Butler. Of course, I am the director, writer, and producer of Selah Productions Incorporated, but I'm the host of Selah Spot. This is my own little hub, my own little hot spot, full of the Holy Ghost fire, I promise you. I promise you, God gave me this spot how many years ago? About how many years ago? About two years ago? It's only two years old? Two and a half. No? Okay, I'm telling you. God gave me this spot about two or two and a half years ago. And God is still faithful. And I sat on this spot even when I don't feel like it. We're going to talk about that tonight. Even when I don't feel like sitting on the spot, I still sit on the spot. Why do I do that? Because it's my assignment. Just when I was getting ready to sit down, the Lord reminded me, because he's testing me tonight. He says, I want you to be really careful on tonight. And I said, okay, because I feel, amen. But Lord, the Lord says, I want you to be really careful about what you say on tonight. He said, Cause, because it's not about how you feel, it's about what I want. Mm. How many people was blessed just now? Miss Andrea, I think you might want to lower just a little bit. The Lord told me that. He said, it's not about how you feel. He said, but it's about what the Lord wants. And God knows one thing about me. I am an obedient, made servant. I am an obedient servant. Am I right about it? Somebody is filling me up with hearts. I need for somebody to tell me who that is. I'm telling you, if you are watching me, let me know. Because sometimes I can't see you watching. If you are watching, Miss Andrea, keep me posted on people that's coming in. Somebody's giving me a lot of hearts. God's blessings to you. I promise you. The Lord told me, he said, it doesn't matter how you feel tonight. He said, you still go on a spot and you do what I'm asking you to do. And that's what it's about. That's what a true servant does. You know, I like to say it like this. God is not an emotional God. You know, women, we... We emotional, you know, we here and there and all around, huh? But God is not an emotional God. The Lord is a mental God. Am I right about it? And when the Lord tells you he wants something, he wants what he wants. I learned that about God. And the Lord knows that it's never been about me. The platforms and the opportunities that he's given me. I've been tremendously blessed, just like a lot of you out there. It's never been about me. It's always been about him. I promise you, it's always been about him. Even Tasha, Dr. Dickerson, even when I decide to wed, that man is all about who God wants. I promise you, we should live our lives totally submitted to the will and the things of God. When we live our lives, we are supposed to live totally committed and devoted to the things of God. Everything about us should reflect him. Will we be perfect? I always say this. We can never be perfect, but we can strive to live in his holiness to be holy. Am I right about it? I'm telling you, be ye holy for I am holy. 
First Peter, huh? One in fifteen. Am I right about it? It's Second Peter or it's First Peter, Miss Andrea. I want you to check that scripture. I think I'm right. It's First Peter one in fifteen. Everything about us should be about Him. We can't. We can't live for ourselves. We live for Him. See, He's switching that thing on me. I'm trying to talk about one thing today. I'm going. It's First Peter one and fifteen. Be ye holy, for I am holy. Everything about me is about Him. I promise you. When I do favors for people, when I give service to people, it's not about you. It's about what God is calling me to do for you. Oh, I want you to catch it. I'm telling you, my assistant can tell you if, if you ask me to do something and the Holy Spirit says no, the Lord himself says no, I'm not going to do it. I'm telling you, that's this type of day for me. I promise you. A lot of us, we serve God through serving people. You know, we have to be careful, the people that we serve. We got to make sure that people are not just, you know, uh, asking us just to, you know, to do stuff. We have to make sure that everything that we do is about God. It's always to edify the church. What do a prophet do? A prophet preaches, exhorts, edify, and encourage the church. That's the job of a prophet. Am I right about it? The job of an evangelist is to preach the word, huh? To preach the gospel, 1 Timothy 3 and 16. Am I right about it? He was made in the flesh. He was, he was, he was vindicated by the spirit, huh? He was seen upon by the angels. He, he was, he was what? He was preached in the nations. Am I right about it? I want you to, I want you to understand what I'm saying. That is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Go read it, 1 Timothy 3 and 16. I missed the line. Which one I missed? He was preached upon in the nations. He was believed upon in the world. Come on. My God from Zion. When I think about that scripture, everything about us should be about him. We cannot be selfish people. Am I right about it? We have to be caring and we have to be compassionate. You know, I have to remind myself, I'm not the only one that got things going on. People around me have things going on. One of my prayers, I say, God, please let me be compassionate. Help me to discern people's spirit that I can be caring toward another person. Because it's not always about what I want. It's about what God wants. And that's what leads me to my scripture on tonight. I come to bless you in the 10 months. Because you will win. Am I right about it? You are in your winning season. I have seen so many victories in my life. In this month, a contract that the enemy stole from me. God, boom, he gave it back to me today. My God from Zion, no weapon formed against your maid servant will prosper in the name of Jesus. When somebody mess with me, when somebody mess with you, and you are the child of the most high God, that person is wasting their time. <laughs> I want you to catch it. My prayer, I say, God bless those that bless me and curse those that curse me. People with wrong motives and wrong intentions. People that, 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 that have wrong motives and wrong intentions. People that think they're smarter than me. Come on. Everything that I do is about God. If I tell you yes, it's only because I'm telling God yes. Why am I talking about this on tonight? I'm talking about this on tonight because we are going from a scripture. I love the scripture. The Lord woke me up in my time of study and it blessed me, Dr. Dickerson. It blessed me. It talked about when Joseph, you know, he was, he was sold by his brothers and he went to Egypt. He went from the pit to the palace. I'm fast forwarding that story. If you get an opportunity to read about Joseph, you should read about him. But what blessed me out of everything that I've read, chapter 41 was the one for me. When he talked about, when, 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 the, when the Bible talked about how he, he met his wife, Annas, is Asanis. That's how I would pr pronounce her name, Asanis. Am I right about it? It was, it was Potiphar. 
the, the I think he was from the tribe of On. O N. I'm not reading this. I'm, it's coming out of my spirit. He married Anasa, Joseph. Pharaoh gave him her as a gift. Am I right about it? And he had two children. He had Manasseh and he had Ephraim. They had Manasseh and they had Ephraim. I want you to follow me on tonight. If you follow me on tonight, God bless you, Jonathan Washington. God bless you out of New Orleans, Louisiana. My God from Zion. It's when I got to the 51st chapter, when well, really, when I got to the 50th chapter, the chapter blessed me so, my God from Zion. In chapter 41, I'm, I'm turning to it because I want to make sure that I'm pronouncing her name correctly because I've seen it and I like to pronounce everything correctly. But if you look at chapter, what is that? Chapter, what chapter is that, Miss? Ah, chapter is chapter 41, verse 50. Two sons was born by Anna. Her name is Asnat. Asnat, I like that. And he named the child Manasseh, my God from Zion. He named the firstborn Manasseh. He said, it is because God has made me forget my trouble of my father's house. My God from Zion. But it was when he got to Ephraim. When I saw the meaning of Ephraim, it touched me. It says that he named the second child Ephraim. He said, because the Lord has made me fruitful in the land of my suffering. My God from Zion. That's powerful. That God would make Joseph fruitful in his land of suffering. Where he was, where he was a slave. Am I right about it? When he was a prisoner. Am I right about it? I'm talking about the, the one with the coat of many colors. When he talked about Ephraim. That's why the name of this Selah spot, the virtual view, is blessed in my best place, my Ephraim, my God from Zion. Blessed in my best place, my Ephraim. When God makes you fruitful in the place of your suffering, do you know how powerful that is? That's how you get your anointing, by the things that you suffer. Oh, I want to talk about it on tonight. Can I be transparent? Can I talk about me just for a minute? A lot of things in my life has happened to me. People doing things and thinking I don't see it and being overlooked and giving excuses of why I was overlooked. I don't have time for that. What that lady said, ain't nobody got time for that. I promise you, when you are a child of God and somebody mess with you, you have, that person is messing with God. But in my land of Ephraim, in my time of suffering, I have gained the anointing that I have from the things that I've suffered. And God has allowed me to go back to some of those places and be fruitful. The contract that was stolen from me, huh? That was a suffering for me. But God decided to give me the contract back. And now I'm getting ready to be fruitful. In my place of suffering. Oh, I want you to catch what I'm saying. Some of you may feel like Manasseh. The firstborn of Joseph. Some of you want to forget some of the things that happened to you in your childhood. God bless you, man of God. He says, go back and be fruitful. Amen. My God. I felt that with the Holy Ghost. Some of you have, have endured hardships in your family. Brothers and sisters not getting along. Aunts and uncles and mothers and aunts not getting along. Am I right about it? But the Lord says in this season of victory, oh, I'm coming to help you on tonight. Because the same grace that's on my life on tonight, I speak it into existence in your own life. My Ephraim, the, the place that I suffered, the Lord is deciding. He's deciding to make me fruitful. Just like God has decided to make me fruitful in the land of my suffering. Some of you have suffered much. People that's watching me on tonight, you didn't come to watch me by happenstance. I like to say that. How do I know that? Because when I prayed on today, every time I pray for Selah's spot, I say, God, send those that 
You want to touch and to anoint in this time and dispensation of their life. This is not no joke when I sit on this set. I'm not just sitting here so that you can look at me. I come on here with a message from the fire of God out of the third dimension. Some of you are getting ready to experience in the 10th month the greatest victory that you have ever seen. Some of you see, oh, I feel the glory. Some of you see the victory peeking at you. You see something is getting ready to happen. For the people that's in Louisiana, the shift and the, the change that happened to you because of the storm, all of that is a part of your victory. Your Ephraim being fruitful in the place that you suffered. Some of you had bad parents that raised you. And some of you will have to take care of those same parents in the place where you suffered. Oh, I come to bless you on tonight. Those of you that have to move on and have to be catapulted into the things of destiny. Those of you that are having a Manasseh moment where the Lord is blessing you to forget all of the hardships of the place where you won't live. Oh, I'm talking on tonight. A great anointing is getting ready to fall upon the earth. A great anointing of holiness, my God from Zion. God is getting ready to drench some of you from the top of your head down to the soles of your feet. You are getting ready to experience the greatest breakthrough of your life in the month of 10. Today is the 21st. Today is the 21st. Am I right about it? We are in the 21st day in the month of victory. God says it's time for you to win. I didn't come to plumb tonight because, see, all of us have things that we are dealing with. And a lot of us want to see the manifestation, the breakthrough happen. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak the breaking anointing upon everyone under the sound of my voice. Everything that have breath, I want you to praise ye the Lord. I want you to say, praise the Lord. May God blow his ruach upon you on this night. My God from Zion. I feel the prophetic kicking in my spirit and in my soul. May the rock of God blow upon you. The northerly wind, the wind of blessing. May the eastly wind, the wind of his wrath, blow upon every one of your enemies and destroy them and desipate them out of your life. May the western wind, the wind of the overflow of blessings, blow upon you and in your direction. May the south wind, Touch you like never before. The wind of provision and breakthrough. May the breaking anointing work upon you. I speak blessings and favor over your life on today. Because God has created you to win. The assignment that the Lord has for you. No one can do that assignment like you can do it. I hear it in my spirit. The Lord says a great anointing is getting ready to hit this earth. And God says, I'm looking for my anointed ones. How do I become anointed woman of God? In the time of Ephraim, when God decides to bring you back to your place of suffering, that you may be fruitful like Joseph. Am I right about it? Joseph became second command in the land of Egypt. When Joseph went to Egypt, he was a slave. Huh? Am I right about it? And the Lord catapulted him. He catapulted him from the pit to the palace. Some of you are getting ready to experience. And I'm not just saying this as a cliche. I'm saying it because this is clarity. Some of you are getting ready to experience an overnight overflow, I heard in the spirit. I wanted to say blessing. An overnight overflow is going to make you say, oh, two O's, or see, God is too much. You're getting ready to experience an overflow of blessings over in your life. It's going to be overnight. It's going to be overnight and overnight overflow. The two O's that's going to make you say, oh, I promise you. The Lord is speaking to his people on tonight. For those that have things that have happened to you in your youth, in your time of youth. The Lord says, I'm giving you a Manasseh moment. Go and read Genesis 41, 51 and 52. The 41st chapter, 51 and 52. The meaning of Manasseh, the Lord is going to help you to forget the bad days of your father's household. 
This is this means where you live. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to make you to forget that. Because God needs your mind clear. Am I right about it? Some of you got molested in your mother's house. Some of you got raped in your father's house. Some of you were on drugs when you lived with your mother. Some of you were alcoholics. Come on, I'm on your street. The Lord said, it's time for you to forget those things. Some of you are still dealing, I hear it in my spirit, with addictions, pornography, whatever it may be. The Lord says, I'm ready for you to forget the experience. He said, I'm giving you a Manasseh moment. The Lord says, I need for you to be able to catch the victory. The victory is catapulting in your direction. The Lord says, the wind of God, the four winds of God is blowing all around your house, my God from Zion. The open heaven is open to you. I come to bless you on today. God bless you, Janice Buckley. The Lord says, I come to bless you on today. A great anointing is getting ready to hit you. If you are watching this broadcast, then I'm talking to you. From the top of your head down to the soles of your feet. You are getting ready to be blessed in your best place. You are getting ready to experience your Ephraim. How do you get an anointing? You must suffer. Am I right about it? Was not Jesus the suffering servant? Must Jesus bear the cross alone? And all the world go free? Well, there's a cross for everyone. And there's a cross for me. I come to bless you on tonight. I'm already getting ready to get off. The message is short and sweet on tonight. You are getting ready to experience an overnight overflow. The western wind is blowing in your direction. It's going to make you say, oh, am I right about it? If you talk to an intercessor, when we are interceding and we are approaching, trying to break into the third dimension, that we can see heaven come down upon earth. We say, oh, when we want God to do something. We just say, oh, come on. The intercessors know what I'm talking about. It's something about when we say, oh, the angels, they can hear us. It gets God's attention when we say, oh, Jesus, am I right about it? Come on. I'm talking to my old time saints. When we say, oh, God, the Lord comes, am I right about it? Oh, I'm, look, I'm talking on tonight. I'm preaching on tonight. You are getting ready to experience the greatest breakthrough of your life in the 10th month. What is the seed? It's a simple seed on tonight. It's 21. Why, woman of God? It's the seed 21. Why must I seed into this word? Because something is getting ready to break through in your life. Today is the 21st day in the 10th month, the month of victory. Just sow the seed. So that whatever needs you have can be met. Sow the seed to meet the need. What is $21? It's an expectancy seed. You are waiting for your O moment. My God from Zion. You are waiting for your Kairos moment. My God from Zion. The information is on the screen. God is getting ready to give you your Ephraim. You are getting ready to gain a great anointing from everything that you have suffered. Suffering with a cheating husband. Suffering with a cheating wife. Suffering with, a, with a, someone disrespecting the marriage. My God from Zion, I'm talking on tonight. You are getting ready to experience your old moment. And when God does it, you're going to say, oh, Jesus, thank you. Oh, I come to bless you on tonight. How do I know about Ephraim? Because I'm in my Ephraim right now. Everything that I've suffered, God is going to give me beauty for ashes. You know what my prayer was today? I said, God, don't let nobody come around me that's not from you. I said, don't let people come around me just because they're trying to get from me. Come on. I want, I'm talking on tonight. I said, God, I'm ready to see the new thing. I'm ready to experience my own moment. Don't you get tired of the same old people? I put this on Facebook, the same old demographic, the same area. God is an ever-changing God. God does not stay in one place all of the time. The law is moving to and fro throughout the earth, looking for his righteous. Am I right about it? I come to bless you on tonight. 
The Holy Spirit said, use yourself. I said, God, I, I don't want to do the same old thing with the same old people, the same old programs. It's boring. That's why some of you see on my Facebook page, I've been putting places that I might want to travel. I want to meet new people. They got souls out there that need to be saved. Am I right about it? The evangelistic anointing is getting ready to hit some of you. Jonathan Washington, if you're still watching, my God, from Zion, man of God. Sir. The evangelistic anointing is already upon you. God says from the top of your head down to the soles of your feet. Sir. The Lord says be made whole, my God, from Zion. Whatever that means. The Lord is looking and he is seeking for his righteous and for his anointing. God is looking, Dr. Dickerson, and he is seeking for his righteous and his holy ones in the earth realm. This dispensation, this number 10, this number 10, this month, I've seen more victories in the 10th month than I've ever seen before. Some of them I can speak of and some of them I have to stay silent because the Lord is not finished working some of those miracles yet. The Lord is faithful. Am I right about it? When I come on see our spot, I don't come to play. If you see a recording, it's because the Lord is speaking it again. Am I right about it? When God wanted Saul, he said, Saul, Saul. Huh? Am I right about it? When God does something twice, it's because he's trying to get your attention. In this 10th month, in the number of Deeks, Deeks, D-I-X, that's 10 in French. My God from Zion. I feel the international anointing coming upon me. Even in the prayer, if you have not heard the monthly prayer, go and listen to it. The Lord starts speaking in my spirit French, Dr. Dickerson. I hope that you're learning your foreign language. I hope that you're doing it, woman of God. It's vitally important to the platforms that God is trying to catapult you to. If you do not learn the foreign languages, woman of God, then you will not see the salvation of the Lord concerning where he is trying to bring you in the higher tier of the heights. Learn the foreign languages, woman of God. When I was praying, I could hear the French speaking in my spirit. That's why these came out of my spirit when I was talking about the number 10. Some of you are getting ready to be catapulted to places that you have never seen before. Some of you, God is anointing you to do his will and to do his way. As I said earlier, it's not about you and what you want. We can't be selfish people when we serve God. We can't be selfish people when we serve people. Some people just only think about what they need to do. They can care less about what's going on with you. I pray and I say, God, don't ever let me be that way. I want to have a loving spirit. Am I right about it? Even in the aggressive nature that God has made me in, when it comes to ministering the gospel, my assistant can tell you I'm soft as a dove when the anointing is just settled upon me. I want you to catch what I'm saying on tonight. The Lord is speaking to those that's watching on tonight. Your Ephraim, you are getting ready to prosper in the place that you suffered. Where did you suffer, woman and man of God? God bless you, Janice Buckley, for sowing your $21 seed. God's tremendous blessings to you. I saw your beautiful sister on Facebook today. And I said, my God, she looks just like Janice. God is still working miracles, woman of God, in your life, in the name of Jesus. Janice Buckley just sowed another $21 seed. So she sowed twice in the name of Jesus. Janice, make sure that you name your seed that I may pray for the needs. $21 is an expectancy seed because you are waiting for your own moment. God is getting ready to do it and your mouth will be wide open in the O. I promise you, it's going to happen. The Lord says, I hear it in my spirit. He says, let the people know that I'm a faithful God. The promises that I've given them, they are yes and amen. Though they seem slow in coming, the Lord says, surely I will come and I will come quickly. He's even bringing me to the end of Revelations. He says, and my reward is with me. My God from Zion. The Lord says to tell you that the reward for you is with him. God 
says, I'm a faithful God. And that he has defeated and annihilated the devil in this season of your life. No one can be able to touch you in this season. Not in the tick mark. Your mark of victory. Some of you have seen this kind of, kind of time before. This fall season has fallen upon us. But God says, I'm getting ready to let it fall down upon you. He said, my grace and my mercy is sufficient. Now that's for somebody. The Lord says, my grace and my mercy is sufficient. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it on tonight. I want you to catch it. And you know what I'm getting ready to say? And I want you to keep it. God's blessings to Miss Andrea who sold a $21 seed for an overnight overflow. You're going to say, woman of God, you have spoke that thing and it has been established, Job 22 and 28. I decree and I declare that everyone under the sound of my voice, my God from Zion, if you need to repent, repent now. Say, God, clear everything that I've done that was displeasing in your sight. That minister divine words can activate and ignite in my life on tonight. See, I'm tired of the mediocre and the same mediocre people. I'm ready to see the new. See, God, I'm ready for my overnight blessing. I'm ready for the ruach of the western wind to blow in my direction. Everybody that's watching me, the four winds of God is blowing around your house. The four winds of God. My assistant can tell you that was a season in my life where I could hear the winds of God in my ear. My God, what an experience. When I woke up, I heard it. And when I went to sleep, I heard it. It was blowing and my assistant started to hear it. And she said, my God, she said, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But she was able to hear it because she was in the prophetic environment of me. The wind was blowing. The dimensions was blowing. It was a northerly easterly wind. I never forget it. And it blew around me for three weeks. My God from Zion. I found dead things in the yard. Am I right about it? Things that was trying to get in the house. Up. The winds blew it away. And killed it by fire. I didn't come to play on tonight. I came that you would sow your seed. To meet your needs. And that you would hear what the Lord is saying concerning you. About the overnight. The overnight overflow of blessings that's getting ready to hit you. As I look into the screen, I see somebody anointed with the fire of God. I mean the glory. Shutting and resting upon you, my God, my God from Zion. Miss Janice Buckley, the Holy Spirit just told me that's you. The anointing of fire of God is upon you that you may heal your family. My God from Zion. God's blessings to Tasha, Tasha Lee Dickerson, Tasha Lee Dickerson, Tasha Lee Dickerson. Tasha Lee Dickerson. I said your name four times because I put your name in the four winds of God. When you pray, Tasha, starting from this night of the 21st of the 10th month, when you pray, you say your name four times. And you say, God, I put my name in the four winds of God. That the Pharaoh will hear my name. And that they will seek me as the Pharaoh seek, seek, seek Joseph to interpret the dream. That is your prayer, woman of God. God bless you, Anne. I just thought about Anne when I was putting my makeup on. I thought about you and your insurance claim. Amen. It is well, woman of God. Anne came on when I was talking about the fire of God. Janice Buckley in the healing because Anne carries a healing anointing. God is an on time God. Am I right about it? That's right, Tasha. You put your name in the four winds of God until the end of this year of December 31st. On December 31st, you saw a seed of $333. It is done. The pharaohs will seek you. The platforms will meet you. And the world will know your name. There's a prerequisite. Learn the language. 
I think I may have told you to start with Chinese first. Learn the language. Go back and listen to the broadcast that I prophesied to you on. God is not playing in this season. The Lord is ready for you to move a stone. Janice Buckley, the fire of God is upon you. You came back in my spirit. I see you sitting in a chair, woman of God. And the fire is all around you. The fire of God. The angel of Uriel, he entertains you. He is the angel of art and fire. Go look him up. U R I E L Uriel. Am I right about it? Is that correct? That's correct. U R I E L, the angel of fire. God has given you fire. Any member that gets sick in your family again, I want you to touch him in the spot where they need the healing. God is a faithful God. I promise you, woman of God, if you touch the family member, they will be healed. Not because of their faith, but because of your faith to know that healing is in your hands. Oh, I want you to catch it. I want you to catch what I'm saying, woman of God. The Holy Spirit is letting me know that someone has already told you that the healing anointing is upon you. God says, when you touch your family members, they shall be healed. I hear Talitha Kumai in my spirit. Talitha Kumai in my spirit. Which means rise up, little girl. I remember when my mother was sick. And she was in the hospital bed. And I was in the room. Miss Janice praying for my mother. And the Lord brought me to that scripture. Talitha Kumai. I said, my God, I couldn't have found this scripture if the Holy Spirit hadn't given it to me. I said, my mother is healed. She's healed. But my mother decided that when she saw a glimpse of heaven, that she was going to be healed on the other side. So I had to receive it. And I had to believe it. What am I saying on tonight? For everyone that has sown a seed, I see a ground, a brown ground. And it represents the grounds of Selah. And I see the fire burning upon the coals of the ground. My God from Zion. Everyone that sold the $21 seed on tonight, you have shown in third dimensional fire. You are getting ready to experience the greatest breakthroughs that you have ever seen. Remember to repent. Remember to repent and tell the Lord. Tell him that you're sorry for real. You have to let God know that you're sorry for real. I'm not talking about a 360. I'm talking about a 180. Some of you, my God from Zion, have to make a 180. It can't come to you without repentance. Am I right about it? Clear the atmosphere that the word that I'm decreeing over your life on tonight that it will be able to come to pass in the name of Jesus. Oh, I see the evangelistic anointing. I don't know if the man of God is still on here, Jonathan. But God is doing something with you, man of God. The man that's from New Orleans, my God from Zion. When I think about Jonathan Washington, I heard Jonathan Nelson. I don't know if you can sing, man of God, or, or if you are a psalmist. I'm not sure what that is. But God is calling you into evangelistic ministry. If you are already doing that, then praise God. May God give you a double a portion of his anointing to evangelize and to win lost souls in the name of Jesus. At the end of the day, it's all about a soul. Tasha being on platforms and being able to speak to nations of women, people, nationalities all over the world. That's about souls because people have to be right mentally to receive the word of God. If the enemy wants to take you down, he takes your mind. Am I right about it? Why do the enemy go after your mind? Because we serve a mental God. We have to believe by faith in our mind. Without faith is impossible to what? To please God. So the enemy comes after our mind. So what does Tasha platform? What is it about? Helping people to live day to day, daily lives, 
being able to be not stressing to flow in the things that God has called them to. Everything that we do is about a soul. Healing, Janice Buckley. Healing is not for the believer. Healing is for the unbeliever. Because when someone is healed by the miraculous power of God, it causes someone to believe. Am I right about it? Come on. I'm talking on tonight. I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. The greatest servant that I know in my lifetime right now is Andrea Hollins. That's my assistant. Nobody serves like Andrea serves. The Lord handpicked her and gave her to me. Am I right about it? I thought God was giving her to me, but God was really giving me to her. Oh, I want you to catch it. Andrea sometimes has a mothering spirit. And then sometimes she has a servant's attitude. Then sometimes she'll be the greatest administrator. Then sometimes she's the greatest suffering person that I know. Andrea's getting ready to experience her Ephraim. Why am I talking about Andrea? Because her suffering is so great because she follows the oil of me. And I have suffered much in my lifetime. Tasha Dickerson just sold another $21 seed. Make sure you name the seed, woman of God. Double anointing and double overflow. Why am I talking about Andrea? Because I've never seen anyone serve like her. I've heard people about people serving, but no one can serve the way she served because she's anointed to serve God. She don't serve me. If she had served me, she would have left a long time ago. But she serves God because she loves God. Why am I saying that? Because it's not about how we feel. It's about what God wants. She's mastered. She's not perfect, but she's mastered what God wants. So she stays in her place. I'm excited for the people that have watched me on tonight. The anointing came very great and is still resting upon me. Your Ephraim, your place of grace, I hear it in my spirit. Your place called there, am I right about it? Your place of, of great suffering, your place of grace. Go read Genesis, the 41st chapter, 51 and 52. When Joseph was catapulted to be the second in command in the land of Egypt, Pharaoh gave him Aseneth as a wife. It was Potiphar's. His descendants were on. It was the daughter. He was a priest. And, and, and Pharaoh gave Aseneth to him. And that was Potiphar's daughter. Come on, Holy Spirit. You're preaching on tonight. The Pharaoh is getting ready to give you something. See, I'm about to try to, I'm trying to get off. Oh! My God from Zion. The Pharaoh is getting ready to give you something. That's why, Tasha, you have to put your name in the four winds. Not everybody can put their name in the four winds because everybody don't qualify. Come on. But Tasha Lee, she qualifies. I didn't say Tasha Dickerson because see, God knew you by your name. Tasha Lee. Before she was married, the Lord knew you in your mother's womb. And then he gave you to marry. You became a Dickerson. Tasha Lee Dickerson is in the four winds of God. She qualifies for the four winds. So now God is getting ready to allow her to meet her Pharaoh. Everyone under the sound of my voice, if you sowed the seed, your Pharaoh is getting ready to meet you, my God. They're getting ready to meet you because your Pharaoh have need of you. Did not the Pharaoh have need of Joseph? Am I right about it? Joseph had to interpret the, the cows and the speck cows. Come on. Talking about the years of famine and the years of prosperity. The Pharaoh needs you. The, the Pharaoh has need of you. Well, what did Jesus say? He said, you tell a man that got the donkey that I have need of the donkey. Jesus had need of something. 
Your Pharaoh have need of you. Am I right about it? You have to be in place in the 10th month. Your place of grace. Where's your place of grace? I've suffered much, woman of God. Your place of Ephraim. God is getting ready to bless you in the worst place that you suffered. The watching world will have to celebrate you. Am I right about it? Come on. The watching world is going to have to celebrate you. What was Esther's father's name? Help me. Come on. He came in my spirit. Find it. More, not, more, no, it wasn't. Was it Mordecai? Help me somebody. I think it was. Mordecai. Look it up. I want to make sure I'm right. When Haman wanted to kill Mordecai. Huh? That was his name. That's who it was. I can't see you. When Haman wanted to kill Mordecai, he used the king to make Haman celebrate Mordecai. Am I right about it? When the prison wanted to hold Joseph, the cupbearer was his door opener. It was a he was a Mordecai that Joseph would get to the king. Tonight, I'm your Mordecai. If I write about it, I come to sound the alarm that the Pharaoh is getting ready to meet you. I come as a spiritual Mordecai so that you can be ready for the blessing. The Lord says that your blessing is about to fall and fall. We are in the fall month. Everything around you is prophetic. Everything around you is prophetic. You are in the fall month because blessings are getting ready to fall upon you. And your blessings bear in the hands of the Pharaoh. Oh, I want you to catch it. You have to get ready to be blessed. Some of you live in towns that you weren't celebrated in. My God, I'm speaking. And God's getting ready to bless you in that same town. They're going to have to celebrate you like Mordecai. And Haman must die in the name of Jesus. When Nehemiah was building the wall, am I right about it? He had enemies that was trying to stop him. But the Lord says in this season, I'm fighting for you. Am I right about it? The name's come. Sand Ballad was the enemy of Nehemiah. Come on. The Holy Spirit speaking on tonight. Oh my God. He wants you to catch it. Your sand ballads and the people that have tried to stop you. Your Hammonds and all of those people that's hiding out, peeking at you. They're not real. God says it is the time of reveal so that you can see the real enemy. They got people smiling with you. That means you no good. Because they are no good. I'm talking on tonight. Some of you all don't like what I just said. But when the king gets ready to call you, to summon you, you must be ready. You don't have time to be fighting and fussing with people in this season. Dealing with chicken situations. God says, I'm calling you higher. Ego flights. I put that on my Facebook page. Ego levels, ego mindsets, ego meetings, ego networking. It's time to leave the greasy chicken alone. Greasy chicken is slippery. Am I right about it? Too much grease will make you slip. Too much grease will make you slip. The Lord said, I'm trying to get you to fly high in this season. The month of victory and the month of grace. Five plus five is 10. You are in your grace place. I told you I didn't come to play on tonight because I myself have become weary and tired. Minister Javon, why are you weary and tired? Because the new thing is trying to bust out of me. So the same Mundoon things and doing the same Mundoon habits and being around the same Mundoon people is starting to irritate me. Why? 
Because it's time for me to be blessed in my place of grace. My place of Ephraim. I'm ready to go to my fruitful place. Are you ready on tonight? In my fruitful place is where I will find much of God's grace. Even on tonight, I believe that I'm going to experience the overnight overflow. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. I've reset. And I'm ready to roll. You must be ready for the Pharaoh when he comes. Some of you must be ready for the Pharaoh when she comes. Open your eyes, people. Look around you. The Lord is moving in the earth realm concerning you. Some of you have movement in your families. Some of you have movement on your job. Some of you have movement in your ministries. Some of you have movement in your own personal life, in your love lives. Come on. Everybody that's connected to you is important. Everyone that's connected to you is important. The Lord said, be careful. So I'm not going to say that. But what I want to say is this. Be careful who you connect to. Understand why they connected to you. Are they connected to break your neck? What am I talking about? Sucking you dry. Sucking you dry of everything that you're supposed to give to someone else. Don't give your pearls to swines. Am I right about it? Talking on tonight. Don't give your pearls to swines. People that don't appreciate it. People that's trying to push themselves up and leave you when they get to the top. Say, God, give me real eyes so I can see. Say, God, let me leave them first. You have to know how to pray. You have to know how to pray. Nobody don't have time to play in this season. This is a real situation concerning your life. You are assigned in an assignment that comes out of the third dimension. And the Lord wants you to complete it. Jesus himself said, it is finished. The Holy Spirit said, you're finished. You're finished on tonight, Javon Ophelia Butler. I hope that this was a blessing to you and an eye opener, the Holy Spirit says. For those that's suffering, allow the suffering to take place. Jesus was the suffering servant. You get your anointing by the things that you suffer. Oh, today something really bothered me on today. I said, God, please, Lord, please. It bothered me. When God decides to open up your eyes and show you who people really are, sometimes it can hurt you, but it'll help you. It'll help you get to your destined place. And it will help you to learn how to erase. Come on. So that you may visit and stay in your place of grace. You all know that I'm metaphoric. Some things that God revealed to me. Sometimes he'll hold stuff a long time about people and he'll say, poof. I say, oh, I have an old moment. An old Lord moment. Why did he allow me to see the true character? I'm not talking about the face. I'm talking about being able to see spiritually the soul of a person. The deep calling unto deep. Psalms 42 and 7. That's been my prayer. I said, God, bring me deeper in you. Deeper dimensions. Deeper understanding. Deeper sight in the third dimension. Be careful what you ask God for. Because he'll surely give it to you. My sister can tell you, I see all kind of stuff. And she said, I didn't see that. I said, I just did. When God showed me a situation today, it hurt my spirit. It really did. And I didn't feel like coming on see last spot on tonight. Can I be real? But I did it. Why? Because you were waiting for me. If you have been blessed on tonight, 
You are the reason why I sat here. It's not about how we feel. It's about what God wants. I want you to catch it on tonight. The Lord loves you with an everlasting love. He just told me to tell you that. God says, tell him I love him with an everlasting love. He says his love is never failing. Though we fail him, he says my love is unfailing. I want to thank you for watching See Lost Spot, the virtual view. God's view all about you. Why is God viewing you? He's watching you. He's taking care of you. He's concerned about the things of you. Even the minute things that you think in your mind, God is listening all of the time. Thank you for coming on on tonight. All this morning, I come on at 7 o'clock. Remember to sow your $21 seed. It will meet your need. I want praise reports of the overnight overflow. God gives things in sections sometimes, but God's getting ready to blow your mind. Because you are on time watching this prophetic word on tonight. I want to thank you for watching See Last Spot, the virtual view. God is getting ready to bless you in your best place, your Ephraim. God bless you. God, we bless you, oh God, in the month of October. We thank you, God, for the month of victory. Oh God, as we press, oh God, toward the end of the year, oh God, we say thank you, oh God, for your great grace to finish the race. We thank you, God, that you will allow us, oh God, to finish strong in the month of 10. 10, oh God, meaning the number of victory. Oh God, we are grateful, oh God, for the victorious women, oh God, that will take place on this month. We thank you, God, for victory in our finances. We thank you, God, for victory in our health. We thank you, God, for victory, oh God, concerning our families. We thank you, God, for victorious women in the month of 10. Oh God, we praise you on this night. We praise you on this day. We praise you on this evening. Whatever time, oh God, the person that's listening under the sound of my voice. Oh God, we praise you, oh God. Oh God, we praise you. Great grace. Great grace. I hear it in my spirit. For everyone, oh God, that's listening under the sound of my voice. Oh God, great grace, oh God, to the individual that is listening to me. Oh God, we thank you, God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, oh God, in this month. We thank you God for the number 10. We thank you God that you are the triune God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Oh God, even the listening nations, oh God, that's listening under the sound of my voice. Oh God, great grace, oh God. Great grace, oh God, to Africa. Great grace, oh God, to the Netherlands. Great grace, oh God, to Canada. Great grace, oh God, to everyone, oh God, under the sound of my voice. I hear it in my spirit. Great grace to Saudi Arabia. Great grace, oh God, to South Africa. Great grace, oh God, to India. Indonesia in India. Oh God, we thank you, God. Great grace to Argentina, oh God. Great grace, oh God, to the nations of the world. So God, we praise you, God. For you are our Jehovah Jireh, oh God, in the month of 10. Oh God, we thank you, God, that there is no one, oh God, like you. We thank you, God, that you are taking care of it, oh God, concerning us. Oh God, we praise you, God. Oh God, may you bless this nation, oh God, like never before. Oh God, may you bless President Biden, oh God, in his administration. May you bless, oh God, the world leaders, oh God, in the month of 10. Oh God, as we approach, oh God, the month of 11, oh God, the changing and the switching of the Lord. We thank you, God, for the grace, oh God, that's in the 10th month. We thank you, God, that we have one, oh God, concerning our enemies. We thank you, God, for the Ruach of God. We thank you, God, for your breath of life, oh God, that's blowing upon
on even our dead situations. We thank you, God, for the ignitement of fire, oh God, in the thick month concerning us. We thank you, God, for the spirit of awakening, my God. We thank you, God, that you are awakening visionaries. We thank you, God, that you are awakening business owners. We thank you, God, that you are awakening, oh God, calling the people. We thank you, God, for the tenth month, for the tenth month, oh God, the winning season. Oh God, we thank you, God, the winning way. I hear it in my spirit. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Oh God, we thank you, God, for the winning way. We thank you, God, that with Jesus, oh God, we have already won. We thank you, God, for the blood of Jesus. We thank you, God, that in this month, oh God, the enemy, the devil cannot touch us. We thank you, God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the month of 10. Oh God, we thank you, God, that we wave our white victory flag. We thank you, God, that we wave our white victory flag. Oh God, we thank you, God, that we have won the battle, oh God. We thank you, God, that we have even won the battle with our health. We thank you, God, that we have won the battle on our jobs. We thank you, God, even for the people that's from Louisiana. We thank you, God, for great recovery, oh God, for we shall, oh God, in the tenth month, recover all. Oh God, we praise you on this day, oh God. We praise you on this afternoon. We praise you on this night, oh God. Whenever, oh God, whenever, oh God, the person that's listening under the sound of my voice, we thank you, God. I see it in the spirit. D-I-X, ten in French, D. Oh God, we thank you, God, for deeds. We thank you, God, for the number 10. We thank you, God, for victory, oh God. Even the people in Paris, oh God. We thank you, God, for the 10 month deeds. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you are working it out concerning us, oh God. In the tenth month, for eyes have not seen, nor ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of man the things that the Lord has for those who love Him. Oh God, we thank you for the winning month, but we thank you for our winning season. We thank you, God, that the enemy is defeated in the tenth month. In deeds, oh God, you are doing it in deeds. Oh God, I lift this prayer up to you, oh God, in the third dimension where you live. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. From quarantine to always being on the scene, Selah Productions Incorporated has birthed Selah Spot, and it is hot, hot, hot. Blaming hot with the Holy Ghost fire, as Minister Giovanni Ophelia Butler brings the word from the four winds of God of the third dimension, the place where God lives, pulling down the Kavad, God's Shekinah glory. Introducing Selah Spot, the virtual view, God's view about you. Boxing the devil through prayer. Prayer is your only weapon. God's mercies ring every morning. Join us for fire, straight down from heaven, as we go to war through prayer with Selah Serenity Prayer Line with Minister Giovanni Filia Butler. Dial in at 857-347-0610 or stream live from Selah Serenity Prayer Line on Facebook. For prayer requests, send your email to selahprayerline at gmail.com. Moving the nations through prayer and Selah Spot, the virtual view. Catch the wave and join the movement. Like us now. All things, Romans 8 and 28, for your good, harder not your heart. And allow your heart to say yes to the spirit of obedience. The Lord is calling this nation down to its knees. Stop praying, heal the land and ask God to heal you so that you can heal the land. God bless you. Fresh wind blowing the swing. Fresh wind blowing the swing. Fresh wind blowing this room. Yeah. Holy Ghost fire. Fresh. Oh, 
up against your heart. The enemy came up against your shield. The enemy came up against your neck. The enemy came up against your character. You The enemy came up against your health. The enemy came up against your finance. The enemy came up against your vision. The enemy came up against your business. Yes, you know. 